Hi, I'm Benjamin, an application engineer here at NAS. Today we're going to look at wiring the AC input connections on the Victron MultiPlus 2. What we're doing today is we're going to look at the difference between the original Victron MultiPlus and the Victron MultiPlus 2. The original MultiPlus had a screw down terminal for your AC input connections. The new MultiPlus 2 now has a spring terminal connection and we're going to look how to properly install your cables. This SOW cable has four conductors. Black is usually for L1, white is, is neutral, ground is green, and L2 is red. These cables are high strand cable, so we have a lot of little itty bitty copper wires that help transfer the power from your plug to your inverter. So this is the MultiPlus 2, the 12 volt 3000 model. This is the two by 120 volt unit. It is designed for a 50 amp RV. We're gonna show you how to wire the AC connections onto this inverter. The tools we'll be using today is a pair of wire strippers, a pair of wire cutters, razor blade knife, ferrule crimper, and a set of screwdrivers and some ferrules. So the first step is you'll have a cable like this. It's gonna just be cut. We're gonna strip off the black part. We're gonna use our razor blade knife. We're going to cut about two and a half, three inches down on the cable. We're gonna cut this black um, outside layer off. Just be careful when you cut that we're not gonna cut into the in individual cables inside. We're using six gauge wire because this is for a 50 amp RV and we need six gauge cable for 50 amps. So you're just gonna go around and cut. Um, and you're going to, to be able to kind of bend it a little bit and see, see, see the cables inside. Um, just be careful, we don't want to, to cut too far. I personally like to go up so that I can pull. You might have to do this twice. This is a thick cable. But once you have it, you, 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 you'll be able to kind of pull that off and, and we'll be able to throw that away. So inside the cable, we have all these little cardboard pieces that help fill the cable to make it round. We're just going to cut those off because we don't need those. So now that we have our filler, filler pieces cut, we're going to now look at the conductors. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to strip our little conductors down. We're going to go about an inch and we're going to use a, use a knife and we're just going to go around the insulation and we're just going to score it and then we're going to pull the, pull the insulation off. Just be careful, don't go too far. We don't wanna cut all the copper wires. So I personally, once I have the score around, I like to go around and slit all the way up so that I can pull the insulation off. Now that we have all four conductors stripped, we can now crimp a ferrule onto each conductor. Since this is a six gauge cable, we need to make sure we're using six gauge ferrule crimps. Ferrules allow us to make sure that all the little itty bitty copper wires in this conductor fit into the terminals. We don't have any little strands that don't make it in and possibly touch a different uh, conductor. So once you have the ferrule put on, we're gonna use our crimper. You insert the ferrule cable inside the crimper and then you Push really hard until it stops. We're going to release, and then we're going to come up here to the to the leftover, and we're going to crimp that too. And now we're going to repeat that for every conductor. So we got all the ferrules crimped. The next step is we're going to trim the excess copper. Um, I stripped them just a little longer than we need, so we're going to trim that excess. Um, just get your wire cutters and just trim the excess. Okay, so, so the next step is we're gonna open our MultiPlus 2. So now that we have our cables all crimped, we're gonna now insert this into the MultiPlus. On the bottom of the unit, there are two screws, so we're gonna unscrew those. Don't worry about them falling out, they're attached to the case. Okay, the next step is we're going to need to loosen our cable clamps so that we can pass our cable through. Okay, we're gonna remove these wire 
glands so that we can cut them. These wire glands allow us to pass the cable through it going into the inverter. Um, there's various sizes that we can cut. Um, just cut the corresponding to the cable you're using. Um, you can always start small and go bigger. If you do cut a bigger size than you need, don't worry about it, it'll still work. If you find that you didn't cut enough, don't worry, you can always cut more. The cable is gonna now be inserted into the bottom of the unit. We're gonna make sure we go underneath the cable clamp, and then we're gonna insert each conductor into the corresponding terminal. Once we have our cable in, we're going to insert the cable gland back into the case. You just basically start at the bottom and work it around until it falls into the groove. Okay, now that we have our cable inside, we're going to start inserting these cables into the connections. So we're gonna wire this cable into the AC output, this connector right here. There are four corresponding holes that will stick these cables in. You see up here on the case, we have corresponding labels. The first one here is N for neutral. That is the white wire. Then we have L2, that is the red cable. We have PE, ground, which is green, and then L1, which is black. If, if you take your cable and you insert it in, it won't go all the way in. That's because the little latch inside needs to be released. So you're gonna insert your little screwdriver into the top little square. This is going to bring up the spring, allowing us to insert the cable. It takes a little bit of effort to get that, to get that screwdriver in. But once it's in, we can easily push that cable all the way up into the hole. Once you have the cable in, you're gonna pull out the screwdriver. This is gonna lower the spring, allowing us to then move to the next one. So once you have it in, we're gonna make sure that it's in there. So we're gonna give it a little tug. It's not coming out, so that one's done. We're gonna now repeat with the next one. We're gonna insert our screwdriver in the top hole. That's gonna release the latch. We're gonna take our cable here. I'm gonna bend it so that I can easily put it in. Once it's in, we're going to hold that and release the screwdriver. Once we have that, we're going to give it a tug, make sure it doesn't come out, and then we can repeat with the next one. So once we have our connectors inserted into the block, we're going to tighten down this clamp. The job of this clamp is to prevent the cable from being pulled out. I'm just going to finger snug them here. I'm putting a little bit of pressure here when I tighten the screws. So now that we have the AC output cable done, we're gonna repeat these exact same steps going into the AC input. Once we have that done, we'll be able to make our battery positive negative connections, and then we'll be able to put the cover back on. So to put the cover on, we're gonna make sure we have that lip here in the top of the unit. We're gonna put it down, and we're gonna tighten these two screws. That concludes our tutorial on wiring the AC connections on the Victron Multi Plus 2. If you have any questions, like any help designing or installing Victron components, including this Multi Plus 2, don't hesitate, give us a call, shoot us an email, we'll be happy to help you. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our website, we have a great learning center. Thank you, have a great day.